Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Um, so just keep in mind that this is a general reading and welcome to all my subscribers and members and welcome if you're new to my channel. I do charm readings for the Divine Masculine Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey. And if you like my channel, you like my readings, please subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. And remember to give thumbs up. Your thumbs up, your your comments, they mean a lot to me because it motivates me to do more readings. I love reading your messages. Oh, so I, I thought I'll share a um a dream I had. Um so for for whoever um is more more if you have more knowledge about this because it's not um my area of expertise, but um, I had a dream about um, geometric shapes and um, one of the images I had was of the uh, flower of life. So what I dreamt was that there was a divine masculine. Oh, maybe I should. Oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll explain it. So um, I had a dream about a divine masculine, the side, and then there was a divine feminine here. So they met after um, a long time. I felt like they have not seen each other maybe in, in years. It, it felt like very long. Um, they made eye contact. Neither of them communicated. And I felt they were um, communicating uh, telepathically. Um, there was not um, any uh, conversation, no verbal conversation. Um, what I saw was that they their eyes locked their eyes locked they um there was a soul recognition um there was an energetic exchange and i saw this divine feminine turn around and when this divine feminine turned around she faced she faced herself in a mirror and this divine masculine uh stepped away he was no longer in in the uh the dream that i had so when the Divine Feminine faced herself in the mirror, um, she, she just looked at herself, locked eyes to eyes. So she locked her eyes with her, um, with her eyes in, in her mirror image, right? And then I noticed that there started to, um, her skin started to glow. And in different parts of her face, along her neck, along her, um neck area so it's kind of like here her face here and then the neck area and part of this area here i saw the um the the flower of life glow through radiate like a light the images the patterns on her face on her neck and on her on her um neck area here right like the color area and it was red it it looked like um it was bright red like bright like this rose here like this divine feminine rose and it started to glow it was a red light and it was the um the image of the um flower of life so um for those who have more information more knowledge about that um flower of life um if you can put a comment below and yeah so that was the dream i had it was a very powerful intense dream and I thought I'd share with all of you, with all of you divine feminines out there. Okay. <laughs> um, so that was the dream I had. And um, so I'll get to the reading now. And please write a comment below about the flower of life if you know more about that, um, that sort of geometric shapes and meanings and the symbolism connected to. And it was red. It was bright red. So in this reading,
this divine masculine, um, he doesn't know how to restore the connection between divine feminine and himself. There's no communication at this time. Whoever this resonates for, these two are in no communication. They're not talking. They haven't seen each other in a while. Um, there's a little bit of an immaturity um, when it comes to this divine masculine energy. I feel like he's being a little bit like, I don't want to be the first one to reach out or I don't think I should. Um, there's a little bit of embarrassment here. I feel like um, he wants to talk to Divine Feminine. He may feel that the next time Divine Feminine um, reaches out to me, then I will um, speak um, what I feel. Um, this may be because in the past, this Divine Feminine may have reached out uh, once in a while, but this Divine Feminine no longer uh, wishes to do so. But this Divine Masculine is under the impression that this Divine Feminine will eventually uh, reach out again as a kind of like a check-in. He thinks that Divine Feminine is going to do a check-in like, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing during this time? You know, or is everything okay? How's your family doing? But no, this Divine Feminine is like, I've had enough. I feel like this Divine Feminine is like, I had enough with being the first to always reach out constantly be the first to text message, call, or ask others how he's doing. I feel this Divine Feminine has completely stepped away. Energetically, she has stepped away from this connection uh, with this Divine Masculine. I feel like she's released the outcome. This is a Divine Feminine who's completely grown into her full strength as a Divine Feminine energy. And she is in balance. She she knows um, her self-worth. She has a lot of self-love, self-respect. Um, but this Divine Masculine is hoping that this Divine Feminine eventually shows some sort of sign that they are still there so that they can start to, I feel, speak their mind. This is a Divine Masculine who still comes across as a little bit of an immature energy. Um, he's not fully transformed yet. Um, the idea of restoring the connection is there, but um, they don't want to put in the work yet. There, I don't see movement here. This to my masculine's like, uh, he thinks about it. He thinks about a future. He thinks about divine feminine, but he's not. I feel like he doesn't have the guts. <laughs> he doesn't have the guts to come and face the truth. He doesn't have the guts to um, surrender or to acknowledge his um, errors or mistakes, to be the first one to say that, you know, um, maybe I should have um, taken our connection more seriously, or to even um, ask for forgiveness. I feel like he's trying to avoid um, being the first to it's embarrassment. That's what I feel. It's it's embarrassment. It's an immaturity here and an embarrassment here. So what what does this mean for this too? Um, up ahead, so later down the road, I see this uh, divine masculine. He will eventually figure it out that okay, divine feminine's not here. <laughs> okay, um, it's been few months now and I don't see or hear anything from Divine Feminine. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I should. Um, maybe I should be the one to see how Divine Feminine is doing. And this Divine Masculine will acknowledge that what he has done and what he was doing was very unfair on his part. And he will want to start anew. Um, I see that this connection, the reconnect, the communication is going to come from the Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine is actually guided by the Divine not to um, act in any way. This Divine Feminine, whoever this resonates for, you don't feel the need to reach out. Um, you have this inner knowing that the Divine Masculine will return someday, somehow. And I feel like you're very patient. Um, and it's showing here that Divine Masculine is the one who will be the, the first to um, start that communication. It looks like that he needs to put his, um, his ego uh, pride aside 
and to kind of like step up to the plate like put that immaturity aside and be the first one to um, break the silence because I see here that he will um, he will start that communication and once he starts that communication, it's going to start off as something small. Um, I feel like he doesn't want to appear too, too um, needy. He thinks that by expressing too much, it's like he is kind of like, um, he doesn't want to sound like he's desperate or needy in any way. So when he does reach out to this divine feminine, he's going to um, kind of like play it cool. Um, not he's not going to say much but he will give hints here and there i feel like i know divine feminines will be like again why why doesn't he just speak <laughs> speak what he feels why doesn't he just be straightforward but there's fear here um so he's going to kind of give a little bit of a hint hoping that you will figure it <laughs> figure it out <laughs> um it it feels it feels like uh he's he's nervous that's what it feels like he's he's scared um about how how things will turn out how you may react um uh it's going to be something tough for him to to do but he will do it i mean i feel like he will have no other choice either either he c comes forward and speaks um his truth try to start that communication or you know, wait on this porch and hope that Divine Feminine opens that door. Um, do you want another blankie? Because if you wait too long, it might be winter time. <laughs> so this Divine Masculine is like, I think I need to um, be the first to act. Um, so when he does make that movement towards Divine Feminine, and it comes in a little bit of a mature, mature energy, um, Things will start to move. Things will start to manifest. Um, there will be happiness. I see here that there's going to be um, some sort of like, um, not only a reunion. I feel like there's going to be families reconnecting. Like there's there's a, many people involved here. When these two could disconnected, um, certain individuals from the divine masculine side divine feminine side they also parted ways as well i feel um they did that out of respect for you know their family member um but yeah that's what i see here that once these two come back into communication the other family members or friends will slowly start to you know um re reconnect again so i see that people coming together there's going to be a new beginning um, it will be strong. It will it will be something new, fresh. I feel like everything will um, be different. Like these two are going to have, um, they will make plans that they never imagined. Like I feel like they they both had different plans um, about life, but when these two come together, um, their plans are going to be a lot different and. By then, they have both been um, been through a lot. They've both grown a lot. They've changed a lot. And they have different interests now. So with these changes comes like different, um, different interests, different outcomes. So their life will go in a different direction. And this is all, um, this, this is something that was destined. Because I see here that what their life will become is something that they do not plan for each other. It's something that they were destined to become and to do for each other and for others. Um, they will be guided by the divine. They will be shown um, the way. I feel they will be shown what what direction they need to go to uh, towards. Um, they will have the strength to do it. They will be very strong individually, but once these two... Um, reconnect their life is going to go a totally different direction this is something that they don't even uh, know yet they don't expect um, they don't expect some I feel it's a huge drastic change your life is going to be totally different it's going to bring a lot of blessings um, not just for you but those around you 
you are i feel like you have a um you have um some sort of it feels like what you put your energy into what you what you do um it brings um happiness and blessings around you it brings blessings to others as well you i feel like you too will be doing some sort of uh divine mission work that's why there's um others involved coming together there's a lot of unity there's happiness there's um dreams that are being fulfilled and i feel like it has to do with um one of the things that that i feel you two will be doing it has to do with how when you disconnected and and the path that you led on your own so the information the knowledge that you've obtained being in your singleness um that information will be shared i feel that information will be some sort of support for others to guide others like what were you doing before before your un union i feel um it was at a time when you were learning self love self growth so there's there's a lot of things um good things good energies coming in this reading for you too um don't worry about karmic because there's karmic out of sight out of mind there's <laughs> there's no karmic here in this reading this karmic um I can see here that um the only information I see in this reading about the karmic is that they they have exited um these two like they that energy is completely released whoever this resonates for they're not in this divine masculine's life and they're not in the divine feminine's life this karmic has moved on to what they are meant to do what their what their journey is meant to be okay so they they are destined for something else as well right so this is a divine um divine couple that will eventually come into unity and this karmic person will eventually continue on their journey um it's like this was one phase of their life and they will continue on to the next phase of their life um it's showing here that this karmic person has a few lessons that they may need to learn there's an another cycle that they need to go through uh this has nothing to do with the divine masculine divine feminine it's something having to do with their own personal life uh divine masculine he wants to put um the past behind um meaning when you two were together the things that didn't work out he wants to kind of like wipe the slate clean he wants to forget all of that and he's hoping that when he reconnects with you that you two can work together that that you will be able to i feel he he wishes for forgiveness this is a divine masculine who's trying to forgive himself and he's wishing that you also forgive him um so that you two can kind of like start fresh start um start anew um because this is a divine masculine who's now um he sees your he sees your beauty he sees how unique you are he sees how loyal you are and he he is changing um though there's that immaturity there but he will grow because i see here that it's your your distance and i mean like the lack of communication the i feel like you put this divine mask on on a time out <laughs> time out on this porch you put him on a time out on this porch and he's thinking about he's thinking about you he's thinking about the connection and that um that's why the separation is important because that's when you go within self right you grow you um evolve you elevate you you radiate you start to raise your vibration and because that immaturity is still there he's assuming that the divine feminine may come around and and you know um try to reconnect with the divine masculine but i feel it's not going to happen in this case this divine feminine is very um i feel like she's she she knows what she wants what she deserves and she's standing she's um it feels like she's standing by her word 
like she's taken she she took a I feel like she promised the divine she promised herself that I will I will do what's best for me I, I will look after me and I acknowledge uh, what this divine path is and what the divine masculine needs to go through and I feel like she's given that divine masculine the space to grow and this divine masculine will grow because of that separation he will grow in that silence and then he will break the silence because I see um, something about coming in with communication uh, it won't be an easy um, easy way for him to start like I feel like either it doesn't matter how he starts the communication it's going to be uh, a little bit scary for him um, but eventually he will he will express what he really feels it's just in the beginning I feel it's just the just to um, break the silence uh, that that part is going to be the toughest part for him or her just take care of his needs so this is the reading for today i hope you like this reading um please uh, hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below if you if you have anything to say about this uh reading or um if you'd like to add about the um flower of life then i'd love to hear that from you okay thank you all for watching and have a great day bye everyone